Well, one Everton player will feel totally at home at Valley Parade. Stuart McCall, Bradford City's captain and a real favourite with their fans until his £850,000 transfer in the summer. Bradford's Mark Leonard, on the other hand, spent two years with Everton. An extraordinary story, really, because on the very day he was due to sign for them, he was knocked down by a car in the street. He lost four months out of the game with a broken leg and never made the grade at Goodison. Leonard is in a side unchanged, despite losing 4-0 to Manchester City on Saturday. They've been working on ways to beat Everton's formidable offside trap with fullbacks Brian Mitchell and Lee Sinnott, key players in that respect. Sinnott, who's faced Everton before for Watford in the 1984 FA Cup final. Wayne Clark has now joined Graham Sharp on Colin Harvey's casualty list. So after three months out with knee trouble, back comes Pat Nevin, whose Everton career began so promisingly in the opening matches of the season. The referee is a jeweller from Whitley Bay, Ken Redfern. Ground receipts from a crowd of around 15,000 close to capacity means a record payday for Bradford, whatever happens over the next 90 minutes. Limping towards the ball then. He's made a gesture towards the bench to get the substitutes warmed up. But Evans moving over the ball. Taken by Jackson. Ormond Droid and Leonard! but in his two years at Goodison Park he never really got the chance in the first team but he flicked it on from Ormondroyd's first header and over Southall and against the run of play totally the second division side are in front a goal past Southall in any circumstances the way the Everton goalkeeper is playing at the moment it's something to be remembered for a long time but Mark Leonard has plenty of other reasons beyond that Sheedy back from a calf problem an ideal opportunity for Bradford City to rid themselves of the disappointments particularly of their defeat at Manchester City on Saturday and they're two up with Ian Banks drilling it under Southall spell for the second division side Leonard involved again Mitchell cut it back to perfection Banks tucked it in two goals in five minutes Everton are rocking and Bradford City are blossoming Norman Royd is offside corner Tomlinson, a charge off his line, back from McCall. Stuart McCall was quite a useful goal scorer from midfield for Bradford City, but Everton have rather reined him in and restricted him in the centre of their midfield. He's only got one this season. Bradford City, 45 minutes away. They hope from a place in the quarterfinals, a stage they reached in the Littlewoods Cup last season, and they lost to Luton Town. attempted cross it's come for McCall and a second time outside of the post the former Bradford City star so close to a goal against the club he served so splendidly here 
really connecting well McCall but it's studied against the post and rocketed back past him but Palin had a better contribution then Banks buying his side some time and that's a great pass right to left Banks to Kennedy reaching the quarterfinals for only the third time and with third division Bristol City next on the horizon they have a great chance to go even further as they go off to celebrate we confirm the final score it's Bradford City 3 Everton 1 <laughs> 